Hey guys, what's going on? Um, just wanted to hop on tonight um, for a bit and I want to talk on, sorry, it's a little, oh, that's better actually. Uh, I was going to say it's a little bit uh, dark in this area that I'm at right now. Um, just uh, turn on the light to make it better. Uh, so yeah, I want to talk today about, um, you know, the spiritual narcissist out here. This is getting a lot worse, um, y'all. You know, it's very prevalent. Um, they are, inf they have infiltrated a lot of the healing and spiritual communities, um, claiming, like I uh, said in some of my previous videos, to be like, you know, uh, energy healers and like um, a lot of them, you know, they'll, they'll play the role of like, you know, being uh, spiritual leaders um, we know there's a lot of narcissists up in all kinds of churches um, as well and uh, they like to obviously try to be the center in that church you know the leader um, just like they do within their friend circle they want to be the one looked up to they want to be the center of attention they want to be the one who's admired and gone to you know for advice they want to be like the center of everyone's world of everyone's universe in those environments so, you know, with the, um, the spiritual narcissist, these are some of the most dangerous. Um, and I think the reason for that is because, you know, first of all, if they're um, in the spiritual community, uh, you know, they're claiming, like I said, to be healers. Um, a lot of them are claiming to be empaths, you know, or even super empaths uh, that have, you know, reached this level of awakening to where, you know, they can go out and just heal people uh, by just putting their hands on them and um, you know all that kind of BS um, so it's like you know like I said a lot of them they're just full of shit and, and they're working like I said in these communities um, like I said uh, healing communities you know um, like I said, they might go on uh, spiritual retreats uh, to different places. I know there's a lot that go to like Costa Rica, places like that, um, and recruit people to come out and join them. They go to spiritual places, uh, Machu Picchu in Peru. They go they go to different places around the world. But I'm not saying they don't they don't go to places here. There's there's places they they congregate, you know, in different churches. Um, but it's like they have to create a cult, right? Narcissists and sociopaths all have to create a motherfucking cult to where they are the center and they're the ones, the puppet masters, pulling everybody's strings, manipulating everybody around them into giving them what they want, giving them attention uh, at their own expense, at their expense, you know? Uh, they have to get that admiration, that adulation, that attention from others um, in their, you know, in the church, in the spiritual um, communities. They have to be like, like I said, um, the center of it the center of attention basically to all these sycophants and um enablers and followers who uh don't see through their fuckery don't see through their bs who aren't able to catch on to their body language to their you know the way they move and operate to um you know the the way they present themselves um to be these like i said uh you know super knowledgeable um you know know it all healers like i said who have all the answers and uh, who are actually just out here destroying vulnerable people who are going for real healing. They want to get healed. Um, you know, maybe they have, like I said, uh, they've gone through what we've gone through, narcissistic abuse, or, or, or they're vulnerable in some type of way. They're going through some other illness and they go into these communities wanting to find healing and then they run into a narcissist or a sociopath or a psychopath. And, um, that clown, that fucking demonic clown from hell is not there, like I said, to heal anyone. Um, they're actually going to be destroying that person who comes in for healing. They are going to be, uh, like I said, siphoning their energy, um, gaslighting them, uh, invalidating them, uh, abusing them emotionally, possibly physically, sexually, even... Um, you know, they need to have that cult, like I said, those followers, those sycophants, preferably from the opposite sex, um, you know, getting that attention, that uh, that sexual attention and validation, 
so like I said, they'll create that cult within that uh, spiritual community, and it's highly dangerous. Because um, like I said, they're out here claiming, like I said, to be healers, and they're claiming to be empaths when really they're covert narcissists. They're fucking covert narcissists, um, they're sociopaths, psychopaths, they're crazy fucking lunatic nut jobs, and they're out here trying to give advice on how to heal. Bitch, I'm not interested in, uh, you know, joining your little circle or getting some false advice from some fake ass healers. I'm not interested in that, and, and none of us should be either. Um, like I said, um, it's just most dangerous because these psychopaths, these narcissists who are destroying people left and right out here in the streets are, like I said, now in all of the healing communities um, claiming to be spiritual masters. Uh, claiming to be woke, claiming to be able to provide you all the healing you need. Um, like I said, when really they, um, they're out here destroying vulnerable people, people that are looking for help, people that are looking for healing, people that are looking for answers. Um, like I said, they're out here giving fake advice, false advice. Uh, they're giving people the worst advice for themselves and causing people to destruct. They literally are out here destroying people in the spiritual communities and um, with zero, you know, we know, zero remorse or guilt over it. Um, so yeah, a lot of them, like I said, that they'll, you'll always see some signs to notice that spiritual narcissist, um, you know, a lot of the time, like I said, that it's going to be like a cult. Like when you, you know, see what they're doing, whether they're an energy healer or whatever they are, you're going to see, uh, people surrounding them. Like they're some type of fucking ringleader in some circus show, uh, and everybody's just dancing to their fucking tune. So you're going to see them, like I said, in, in the center of everything, pulling all the strings. Um, everyone's going to them for validation, attention, and answers. And um, they're just going to be eating it up, right? They're just going to be eating that shit up. They're going to be eating up all the attention, energy supply, narcissistic supply being given to them. Um, they're going to draw people in with, uh, like I said, the fake promises of healing, um, they're gonna pretend in the spiritual communities, they're gonna pretend to be the ones that are the do-gooders. You know, I always, you know, a lot of people uh, in this community, and I say as well, narcissists have to portray themselves, sociopaths have to portray, the, portray themselves as the do-gooders, as the ones who are like, mm, nah, like, I, I don't accept, uh, I don't accept, you know, I don't accept payment, I, I don't, I don't, I don't expect that. You know, you don't have to pay me nothing. I'll just come right in and, and let's start the healing, baby. Like, you know, come on. Like, fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, they're the, they're the ones, like I said, they, they go around and they say that they don't, um, they don't expect anything in return. They don't expect any type of, you know, payment for their services, uh, their healing, healing services. Um, and, you know, they're full of shit. The, the reason they're saying that is they want to, they have to maintain their image at all costs. So they want to be set, seen, like I said, as the do-gooder, as the uh, sacrificial lamb, as a martyr, as the ones, like, they don't expect anything in return, you know what I mean? And that's a crack of bullshit, you know? They're just trying to put on that image, like I said, um, when really, probably they're getting money for their services. They're just not telling you that. They're on the DL about it. But like I said, um, they have to portray that they're so charitable and generous, and they're, they're a motherfucking snake. They're a whole fucking snake. They're a whole snake, bitch. That's right. They're the fucking devil. They're the fucking devil. They're a demon on earth. Narcissists are demons walking around on earth to, uh, like I said, target people and bring them down um, to their demonic, nasty, trifling level. Um, so they're going to bring people's energy down in the healing community. They're going to, you know, attack them left and right, sabotage them gaslight them, sub use subterfuge, um, subtle manipulation, gaslighting, like I said, triangulation, a lot of triangulation goes on in the spiritual and communities, you guys, you know, for example, that narcissist will have their spiritual circle, and they'll, they'll pick favorites in that spiritual circle, you know, they'll pick favorites, and, you know, people, certain people out of the circle that they, they deem worthy 
of, you know, being promoted in, in their circle. So it's like they're always going to triangulate and get people to try and compete to, to win their approval. That's the whole name of the game with all narcissists in all situations is to get people to compete for their attention, mostly and approval, um, and get their approval. So, like I said, we got to stay awake, awoke, and aware, aware of what's going on out here when, whenever we get involved, you know, in like any spiritual healing communities, um, whether it's uh, acupuncture, Reiki, um, you know, there's a whole plethora of, of other, these healing communities out here, shamanism, um, you know, and, and, you know, like I said in my last video, uh, nothing trumps, none of these spiritual communities can trump the power of the man upstairs, of God, none of them, none of them have nothing on God, none of them. And um, like I said, the, in my other video, like when, when those that energy showed up in my space, those people showed up in my space, um, it was truly angelic. It's like I was literally, I felt like I was walking on clouds and these people showed up and the energy immediately uplifted. I was feeling drained around that narcissist, you know, and um, I was feeling low. I started to feel depressed, very depressed. And like I said, these angelic empaths, they came around and came to my rescue. So, you know, angels are operating through people as well. Um, angelic forces, um, you know, healing forces. They're operating through empaths, um, especially the woke empaths, you know. Um, and I'm going to do a separate video on that. But, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's like... They got a lot of people under their thumb in these spiritual communities. And really what they're doing is they're getting, and especially the male narcissists, they're getting these um, female followers, these, you know, to follow them, to be their friend, to accept them and their, their healing, you know, propositions. When really they're just using them for sex, uh, attention, like I said, money, favors, resources. Um, they're using these women. They're creating a cult, like a sex cult with them. Uh, they're, they're putting them on rotation and they're sleeping with all of them with their nasty doo-doo dick and fucking uh, You know rotten ass penis um, they're, they're using that community. Oh, well, we call it in this uh, in this community. We call it community dick and You know community dick basically it's nasty. It's fucking nasty and they're getting all these women to jump the carousel with them um, you know, spreading all type of, like I said, disease, um, not caring that they spread it, um, no, you know, being out here trifling, like I said, and all these women just, oh yeah, like these impressionable women, oh yeah, that's so cool, you're a spiritual healer, oh my god, and you're a guy, wow, like they're so easily impressed, they're so naive and, and gullible and stupid, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, you see, uh, well, I'm not sorry, <laughs> you know, you see a guy like that and especially in my age bracket I mean y'all like y'all know I'm older like I mean, I'm not that old but like I'm 30 So, you know at this age like you should be mature enough to be able to see a grown-ass man and not put him on a fucking pedestal Just because like I said, he does something that's considered, you know in touch with his feminine side or whatever the fuck You know, you gotta be you gotta be hardcore, you know vetting these men um, not thinking they're just some harmless, you know, whatever creature, because that's what they want you to fucking think. That's what these narcissists in these healing communities want you to think. Oh, look, I'm doing something. Uh, I'm surrounded by women. You know, I'm a feminist. I love women. And this is another video I'll probably make about a uh, narcissist, nar feminist narcissist, M male feminist narcissist. Okay. Um, they're full of shit. And the reason why they're surrounding themselves with women is to not only triangulate women and, and pit women against each other to fight for them when they're nothing to be fought for. They're just a piece of shit. Um, they're doing that. And they're also, they're a predator. They're a predator. And they're surrounding themselves with women to be like, oh, look at me. 
I'm safe. I'm safe to be around. Look at all these women around me who who, who trust me, who who want to be around me, who accept me as a as a friend. We all know that's not true. Like most likely they're trying to sleep with them or they already have slept with them. But anyway, they surround themselves with women like I said to um to portray that image, you know, in the healing communities that they're um safe to be around. Um they're not dangerous. They're not a dangerous man. Um, they have good intentions for women. They they know, you know, uh, how to how to work with women, how to talk to women. But it's all a crock of bullshit because most healthy men out there, healthy normal men, um, usually have male friends. First of all, um, they might have some female friends, but not really. Especially if they they're you know they got a girlfriend or a wife, they usually won't risk you know their relationship with that woman that's special to them um, to you know throw just to have some so-called female friends and throw these bitches in her face and cause her to run off you know and not want anything to do with him he's not going to risk losing her so most normal sane men will not do shit like that but narcissists have no problem doing it you know sociopaths they have no problem you know being surrounded by all these pick bitches and throwing the pick in in everyone's face that, that they try and get with on a you know so-called romantic level they're going to throw these fucking pick all around they're going to be juggling these pick and try to throw throw them uh in your face and the whole time they're talking shit about these pick probably behind their backs to their their buddies they're talking shit about them they're throwing shade on them their 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 female followers their the the the, the pick me the klingons they're fucking they're throwing shade on them they're throwing shade on them to their male uh friends they're talking shit behind their back oh look at these bitches look at them they keep coming around thinking i'm gonna pick them thinking i'm gonna make them the one thinking i'm gonna want a relationship with them ha 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 like they're just sitting back with this like evil cackle you know they, they, I, I ha 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 like like some little fucking evil evil ass demonic three-year-old sitting there you know ha 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 he 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 you know laughing this evil fucking joker laugh thinking that you know playing all these women against each other and talking shit behind their backs oh look how stupid they are um you know they really think i'm gonna pick them when i'm never gonna you know pick them to be my girlfriend or my wife or whatever um and they just keep you know clinging on and acting like um i'm their friend and and uh they really trust me and believe in me like no no bitch but like i said spiritual communities are extremely um dangerous there's a lot you know of cults uh, narcissists will create cults in these spiritual communities um and they bastardize healing they perverse uh, healing and they they twist it and turn it upside down into something perverted you know they always have to pervert healing they have to pervert anything good uh, anything positive in life they have to turn it upside down and inverse it like you know in, in satanism the uh the cross is inverted it's like turned upside down that's how narcissists operate they operate on that satanic level um where they a lot of them are satanists atheists or or preferably satanist um a lot of them do worship the fucking devil because we know we know that the demons operating inside them report to the man downstairs you know and the empaths out here who are really put uh walk in the fucking walk and really trying to actually heal people we answer to the man upstairs so it's you know guys it's a spiritual warfare it's a spiritual battle and we are going to continue to be attacked on all fronts by narcissists and psychopaths they're going to keep sing being singling us out in the crowd and coming after us for our healing energy our light and try to siphon our energy feed off us parasite off us um manipulate us try and gaslight us weaken us they are trying to weaken us out here and that's the only way these predators, these narcissists in the spiritual communities especially can, you know, can bring us down is if they're able to weaken us by weakening our energy. That's how you'll notice when you're first around a narcissist is you'll immediately start to feel weaker. You'll start to feel weakened. Not only tired and drained, but weakened spiritually. Uh, and your peace will be robbed. So you'll notice those are the first type of feelings you feel around them. And that is them weakening you in order to be able to pounce on you and manipulate and harm you. They can't harm you when you're, you know, you're operating at a level of groundedness, peace, security, uh, love, um, you know, self-assuredness, confidence. They can't really take you down at that energetic level. They can't, 
you know, like I said, they can't, um, they can't take you down when you're up that high on that high level. Um, there's no way they'd be able to take you on and at that level of strength and self-confidence, they can't do it. They can't shake a self-confident person, a person who knows who the fuck they are and knows their boundaries and limits and what they will and will not tolerate off another individual. They can't bring someone like that down at all. So they're going to be intimidated by you. Um, they're not going to want to be around you. They're not going to want any smoke. And um, they're not going to want you in their circle either. You know, if you join, like I said, one of these spiritual groups um, or in the church and you can identify that ringmaster, that leader as a narcissist, they're not going to want you um, in that in that group. They're going to try and kick you out. They're going to try and sabotage you and get you to quit or, you know, get you thrown out or get you to, you know, they're going to hate your ass because you can see through them. Just like in a romantic context or a dating context, once you can see through it, you see with your spiritual lens, your spiritual eyes, and you can see through that narcissist and, and the demons operating through them, um, they're not really going to want to be around you at that point. They're going to want to you know, either find other ways to take you down on another level or they're going to scurry off back into the darkness where they came from because they know they're not going to be able to even try with you, you know, to even try to bring you down to their, you know, deplorable trifling level. So like I said, um, you know, narcissists will, you know, promote all the, uh, the spiritual narcissists will be out here promoting the positive vibes only bullshit in the new age communities um, and, and, and basically call you out, dog you out if you, you know, try to talk about balance or, you know, it's okay to be angry, it's okay to be, you know, sad sometimes and negative sometimes, they'll bring you down and say, no, uh, you're being toxic, you have to always be positive, always look at the positive, see, a narcissist will say this in the spiritual communities because they don't fucking want anyone giving them any smoke. They don't want anyone standing up to them and calling them out saying, you know what, you're full of shit. You are full of shit. They don't want anyone doing that. So they have to keep grinding people down and gaslighting them and convincing them that they can't bring up any real issues, that they always have to be positive and looking like a whole fucking clown going around, you know, smiling all the time, the fake smile, like, like they're always happy, no bitch, no, like, you, you can't fool me, so that's what narcissists do in the spiritual communities, um, like I said, and they, um, they draw people in yoga, um, like I said, tai chi, uh, meditation especially, especially meditation, you, you, you walk into a meditation room, you got some gongs going and shit. You sit down, you lay down, you try and fucking relax. And you got a narc in that room. You got a psychopath, a sociopath in that room. That motherfucker is going to fuck up everyone's vibe. That motherfucker is going to be wishing bad on everyone and being jealous. Jealous ass, you know, pussy ass, Jezebel ass spirit in these narcissistic men. Women too, but but men. Uh, they got these this feminine um, spirit in them. This jealous ass, you know, feminine spirit, the Jezebel, the, the Jezebel demon in them. They're going to be in that room with you, with y'all in the meditation, um, wishing bad on everyone, being jealous of every, and envious of everyone, um, speaking hatred on everyone, and it's going to ruin the whole meditation. Um, narcissists are fucking clowns, right? And when you see a narcissist or a sociopath try and fucking meditate, are you kidding me? Those pieces of trash are full of hate anger, jealousy, rage, when they meditate, it's fake. It's fake meditation. They're meditating. Maybe they're probably praying to, you know, who downstairs. Um, but it's fake meditation. It's all for show. They don't actually meditate. They don't believe in any of that shit. Narcissists do not believe in any of that shit in the spiritual communities, especially. They don't actually believe anything they preach. They don't believe anything they say. They don't believe anything that comes out of their own fucking mouth. They're full of shit. They're goddamn liars and con artists and, and frauds. They're fucking imposters. They don't believe a fucking thing that comes out of their own mouths. They just say it because, because it sounds good and because people want to hear it 
to get their attention, but they don't actually believe in any of that. Just like in the church, they don't actually believe in God or anything uh, related to religion. They don't believe in any of that. They just show up and pray in front of other people, meditate in front of other people um, in order to, to, for, to preserve that fake image of themselves. What they really are underneath is, first of all, they don't believe in any of that shit. Um, the only thing they probably believe in is speaking hate on others, practicing black magic, you know, lighting candles on your ass, putting, you know, a lock into your hair or, or a, um, your, your photograph, uh, under a, you know, a candle and burning it, speaking ill will on you. That's the only time they probably have any type of belief is in, is, is in black magic because they want to believe that their spell is going to work on your ass. They're going to, you know, cast like a love spell on you to try and trick you into, into liking them or falling in love with them. Um, they might, like I said, they take those, those are the only type of spiritual practices they probably take a little serious is, like I said, um, you know, trying to use ill will and black magic against someone, they, they against an empath, against a super empath because they're trying to tear your ass down uh, through spiritual warfare means. So they're going to be, like I said, lighting a candle over your name or, or your picture. Uh, if they can get access to your pictures on social media or whatever, um, they're going to be lighting that, you know, on your name um, and trying to basically wish bad luck on you, uh, bad things to come into your life. They're going to try and make sure you fall out of the good place, the happy place, the successful place you're at in your life right now um, so that you are left, you know, possibly struggling financially um, struggling in other ways, um, having health problems, um, everything, they're going to be speaking that on you, the black, all the black arts they're going to be into, and they're going to be using that against you, because you are their enemy, empaths, good people out here doing real healing work, not the fake ass narcissists, who are, who are fake healers, we're out here doing real healing, real work, real energy work, and really lifting people up and we're actually positive we actually exude positive energy positive vibes they don't they're negative they absu uh, absorb uh, they they provoke people to get our negative energy from us they siphon our negative energy from us through provoking negative reactions out of us um, through provoking us then we release those toxins those uh, not the toxins we build up toxicity in us we release negative energy and jealous energy and hateful energy out and they feed off that they they provoke us we get angry we get upset they feed off our negative emotions more than even our positive emotions they feed off our negative emotions they have to make us negative they have to um, promote negative feelings in us so like i said with the spiritual narcs y'all stay awake stay stay woke don't just join any spiritual practice because it looks good, because you want to find healing. Be very discerning. When you sit down in that room with those people in that group, that new group you join, be very discerning of who is who, who's running the show, who's the ringleader, are they a narcissist or not? You know, if there, are, are there any narcs in that circle? There probably is at least one or two. Uh, be very discerning. Stay woke. Stay aware. With that being said, I love y'all. Thank you so much for all your donations to my channel. Um, if you would like to donate, you can find the uh, link to the, to my PayPal in the About section of my channel, my YouTube channel. Um, I love all of you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Um, and please like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Share this video um, with your friends, family. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon.